Hello Royal Kingdom Estate family, welcome back to the platform. I am so elated for today's video. This is a motherland video, but it's tweaked a little bit. It's not what we're usually used to because today we're actually on site. This is Grace City Phase 3 and we are here to visit our lovely beautiful clients they've been with us for a while now we've seen their journey from land acquisition to becoming land owners to becoming brokers to becoming um full you know i can say they're Ghanaians now who are living um in the property that they've built right here at gray city phase three they've been here for a while and today we're going to be listening to their testimony from start to where we are right now i'm going to be engaging them we're going to tour their property and see how they've trusted royal kingdom estate from beginning till now and now they are living their beautiful dream right here at gray city phase three i'm right here at the entrance of the property they're inside waiting for me i can't wait to meet them now to refresh your memory a little bit let's stroll back to when we actually came while they were building their property so that we can reflect on where they are right now to see exactly the difference and how everything has been So without talking too much, let's go inside and meet Lisa and London Bodley. Guys, to the second come on. Step. Wow. <laughs> Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Hi. Hello, Ajwa. <laughs> welcome. Welcome. Thank you so much. Hi, Lisa. Hi, London. I'm good. How are you? <laughs> First of all, you look amazing. Thank you, my dear. Thank I you. Can so see, you. I can see the Ghana glow on <laughs> Absolutely. you. Absolutely. <laughs> you look wonderful. Absolutely. Thank exactly. you so much for welcoming us to your beautiful Absolutely. home. Absolutely. Thank you for coming. Yes. <laughs> this is the first time myself and the audience were mm -hmm. getting to see a glimpse yeah. of the beautiful home that you've built. Yes. And we're going to be listening to your journey and your story and how progressive everything has been Absolutely. so far Absolutely. so first and foremost let's tour the environment sure, a little bit. sure. show me around absolutely i'm absolutely. loving what i'm seeing so well, far well first of all i have to tell you again uh -huh. that my dogs ate the plants here. oh no <laughs> <laughs> they ate the plants here it was all oh pretty oh my god it's okay don't go back <laughs> i'm sure they saw it they were like ah nutrients yes and they just yes. went for it yeah, so we just decided like here recently to kind of have this whole park concreted. We just mm -hmm. thought it would just be more cleaner. Okay. We have dogs and we're out here a lot. And mm -hmm. so we were tracking a lot of the dirt on the inside. Okay. And so we just wanted to kind of have it all concreted and it works out really great, doesn't it? Yeah. I yeah. see. Yeah. I love Tell it. Tell me about the choice of painting that you have on the exterior. The color? Mm -hmm. it makes, so we like modern. Yeah. Okay. Modern. Yeah. And simple. We don't like yeah, a lot simple, of color. Yeah. yeah. And so we just kind of decided on like, gray and white and mm -hmm. you know you'll see me go on the inside too it's just, just the, the mild tones <laughs> yes I it's just mild that. tones mm -hmm. it's beautiful just, thank you how big is the land so this house sitting on here this is mm -hmm. two plots okay but then there's a plot and a half right around here so it's three oh. and a half plots all together okay mm -hmm. i mm -hmm. see lovely yeah, i see you. a little garden in the back yes i'm trying to do a little something that's so beautiful <laughs> lisa <laughs> in her garden era absolutely okay. absolutely <laughs> um landon can you tell me about the property itself uh let's talk about the architecture how many bedrooms and the thought process that went into it okay well this is uh basically a four bedroom home. Mm -hmm. It's three bedrooms okay. and a helper's quarters mm -hmm. that we have, which is actually this room back here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, like I say, we, we, we knew we wanted a modern build, yes. okay. an open uh, mm -hmm. concept home. Okay. Um, so we contacted our um, architect, mm -hmm. Jonathan Tetza, mm -hmm. here in Ghana. Mm -hmm. um, we kind of gave him the idea of, of what we wanted. Right. You know, and he put it on paper and I'm telling you, we liked it from the jump. We made a few changes. Changes here and there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, he understood what mm -hmm. we wanted. He put it together very nicely and 
This is Here what you are. It's mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Yes, All right, you. let's Thank go you. around the back. So mm -hmm. for the people that are watching our channel for the first time and they've never seen you, <laughs> even though we've featured you so many times, <laughs> from clients to brokers, like okay, <laughs> let's just throw back a little bit um, from your journey from outside to Ghana. I'll take uh, Lisa. Let's let's have you take this. Okay our journey. Mm -hmm. So uh, for those of you all who don't know us or not familiar with our channel, we are Lisa and Landon Bodley. We moved to Ghana from Texas just a little under a year ago. In yeah. fact, yeah. on the 29th of this month, we'll be here exactly one, one year. Woo. Exactly one year we'll be here in Ghana. And so we came with the idea of relocating and mm -hmm. building our home mm -hmm. and doing an early retirement. And so that's been our journey. Yeah. So, it, you know, we built in a little over seven months mm -hmm. and we're just kind of living really peaceful right now. The All pace, praises. the pace at which you've been able to put this app is so commendable. It's amazing. To, some people have been in Ghana years and they have not been able to um, achieve anything mm -hmm. of this uh, mm -hmm. feat. Mm -hmm. It could be several reasons. Maybe they didn't have the chance of meeting Royal Kingdom Estates like you did. Absolutely. They didn't Absolutely. have Absolutely. the chance to have a smooth, you know, land acquisition yes. process, yes. smooth building process and everything like yeah. that. But you have been able to achieve all of this. You have done so, so, so amazing. Thank you so like, much. I tell you, um, being able to acquire land mm -hmm. easily mm -hmm. and without all the stuff yeah litigation the issues. litigation issues yeah. makes it so much simple to just build your house and so that's a reason why we were able to do it you know yeah. we, we planned financially to be able to do mm -hmm. it and we were able to come in contact with royal kingdom who's so great in right. every way mm -hmm. yeah. um and to just make our transition easier mm -hmm. when it came to building our home and stuff mm -hmm. and so litigation free mm -hmm. nobody's coming to say stop building your home yes. we, we built in peace and so it just made it easy getting the paperwork yeah was that is that that is actually something <laughs> we is. don't it's talk about a lot yeah. the yes. paperwork mm -hmm. everything was just so smooth yes. you had your indenture how yes. many it was was it like it was, five working days it was less? actually about seven yeah, working about days, seven seven working days. Was, we were so surprised oh yeah. my god yes although we were told that mm -hmm. we would get it under about 10 days we got mm -hmm. it in about seven days wow in about seven days and so yeah, then we were just able to start yeah, building. The, the, the day after we got our mm -hmm. indenture, we literally started building. <laughs> we did. Just the day after. The yes. Day after. Wow. Uh, actually, yeah. Royal Kingdom had no idea. We, we were building for like three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, like I said, there were no issues. We mm -hmm. just gave a copy of our um, site plan. Our mm -hmm. site plan, mm -hmm. and we just continued to build. Yeah. So yeah. no yeah. issues whatsoever. The, it was the. It was so simple. Yeah. Um, no issues and, yeah. and Royal Kingdom is so helpful throughout the entire process. Yeah. yeah. So. I remember the last time we were here, um, Lisa, I, I spoke to you. Mm -hmm. When we came, you highlighted one thing about um, at the point where you were building and your workers couldn't get access ah. to the property. Yes. And then uh, you spoke <laughs> to our chief operating officer and then quickly he, yes. he solved that uh, he situation for you. Highlight on that a little he bit. Did. You me. know, the thing is, is like my husband stated before, Royal Kingdom didn't even know that we right. were out out here because we didn't realize that we needed to tell you we didn't right. know didn't know that uh, Royal Kingdom needed the site plan mm -hmm. that we didn't know that so we just we were just waiting on our paperwork everybody was already <laughs> lined up waiting for us to get the paperwork so we called and we were like we got the paperwork mm -hmm. let's go so everybody came yeah and so it was rainy season mm, right and so as the traffic started to come uh -huh. the road started to deteriorate yeah. and so we not knowing what to do I'll be honest with you mm -hmm. <laughs> us not knowing what to do we panicked I was like this is crazy. Why is this frozen? <laughs> Not realizing that all I had to do was make a phone call and say, hey, yeah. we're out here building. Can you come help us with mm -hmm. the roads? And so once we did that, you know, th they came and just yeah. made sure that the roads were yeah. good and that the, the trucks could get back here. And that's been the process since we've yeah. been here. Yeah. Like just kind of making sure the roads are maintained. Mm -hmm. And as everybody else comes in, the same is done for them. Yeah. And so it's been it's been amazing. OK, it's been amazing. You are in um, I want to say the further part, but you bought your property quite early yes. when we demarcated this section. Yes. So you are quite um, in the back yes. a little bit. Mm -hmm. How is access to your property? Is it very, very easy from the main road 
all the way to here are you able to commute in and out with ease oh yeah yeah we, we do it all the no time problem. yeah just in and out no problem yeah you drive mm -hmm. in drive out drive no in. issues whatsoever. no issues whatsoever okay no and issues. another question that we get a lot of times is that um you know every is um a cool weather area mm -hmm. and you did mention that around the time you were building it was a rainy season yes. apart from that little road issue you had no other oh no problems oh no we didn't have any other we had no other problems mm -hmm. at all in regards to the rain itself yeah. we live right by the creek here there's no yeah. problems we're with the rain at the bottom of this incline mm -hmm. yes um, so you know the water comes our way but there's never been an issue it dries up very quickly yes, like, yeah like i said we're right by the uh creek the mm -hmm. creek here mm -hmm. so we've had no issue yeah, yeah. Everything yeah. Has been yeah the lamb consumes it really yeah. good it sucks yeah. it up really good it doesn't yeah. stand or anything so it's good water anything, so that's amazing yeah, yeah yeah that speaks to the soil condition yes. of our mm -hmm. development you see you how fertile have, it is exactly <laughs> see the yeah. garden is booming <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So um, we're here at your home today. How long have you been officially living on the property for? Uh, we've been living here since the 31st of May. We moved in the 31st of May. Mm -hmm. So we've been here almost <laughs> three months. Three, three months. months. So. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Three months. Yes. And yes. When it comes to security, mm -hmm. especially, that mm -hmm. is also another thing that people mm -hmm. are very anxious about. They're mm -hmm. like, okay, <laughs> we're in the trees. Yes. <laughs> are we gonna get much? Are we gonna have, you know, it's a, a whole mm -hmm. lot of questions, mm -hmm. but you have been here three months. Yes. Have there been any issues when it comes to security? None at all. Mm -hmm. Wow. None at all. You know, people are so kind and so nice mm -hmm. here in this area. Yeah. Um, and I know it can happen anywhere. We've mm -hmm. just not had any issues. Mm -hmm. Everyone is so welcoming. The, the locals are just so nice. Mm -hmm. They're happy we're here. We're happy we're here. And yeah. so we haven't had any issues at okay. all. Mm -mm. Amazing. Not one. Wonderful. All right. <laughs> Let's go inside. I see four babies yeah. on the porch. Hello. Yes. <laughs> Those are our babies. Oh, yeah. That's Major amazing. and Bailey. That, that's who we came with. We came with Major and Bailey. So Major we traveled. and Bailey. Yes. We traveled with the two small ones. Okay. And then the two big ones, we got them when they were babies. And yeah. so. You got them yeah. right here. Yes. In, in Ghana. Oh, amazing. Mm -hmm. I would love to pet them, but oh, no. <laughs> this is security also. <laughs> this wow. is also security. <laughs> Major is very curious. Oh yes, mate. Yeah. Yeah. She's looking at me like, mm. yeah. Who is this? Yeah. He's he's the one who will alert you that yeah. somebody's out here. Right? Quite loud. <laughs> they will too, but he'll alert you. Someone's out. <laughs> this this guy has just been called the whole Bailey time up yeah. here. He's the oldest one of all three of them. Hey, Bailey, Bailey. <laughs> all right. So shall we step inside? Sure. So sure, this welcome. is the 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 back uh, porch yes. area, uh -huh. porch. if I should put it that way. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. And I saw a little staircase on that side that leads to the terrace. Yes. Yes. Oh, Absolutely. Right. What are the plans you have for that side? Um, um, I'm probably gonna put some type of uh, what is this the thing called? Uh, pergola. Yeah, pergola. Mm -hmm. Okay. Chair, just, mm -hmm. uh, something we can sit under from time to time. Mm -hmm. It's really windy up there, especially at night. Yeah. yeah. It feels good. Yeah. So. Amazing. One thing I'm very curious about: Why did you choose to put fans on the outside? Well, was there a specific to reason? Well, or just you to just... kind of circulate the air okay. while, while we're out here. Okay. But you know, the thing is, this air just blows. Yeah. So we don't even use We haven't used them yet. Use it right. Now, it's not on, yeah. it's moving. Yeah, during dry season, maybe. Yeah. We may have to, but we haven't had to use them. But I just right. like the idea of when, if we're out here, we can kind of have it blowing and things I like this. I think it's beautiful. It fits the aesthetics too. Thank you. All right. Okay, Thank so you. can we step in? Sure. Thank sure. No, you, you okay. leave <laughs> and I can follow. Sure. Thank you so much. <laughs> wow. Wow. Do you like it? The buttons. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is amazing. Thank you. I've been saying this word since I got here. It's so beautiful. <laughs> the you, finishing, Adora. especially, the mm -hmm. finishing mm -hmm. is just perfect. Thank you. We like simple. We didn't. We don't. We're not really over the top people. Yeah. We don't like a lot of color. Mm -hmm. Earth tones. Earth tones. Right. Just simple. How was yeah. the planning process like? You put your heads together and decided, okay, we're gonna do brown mostly, and green, <laughs> a little sprinkle of green. Well, the green came from my wife. I can see that. <laughs> I just, I love the earth tones, and I love, like I said, I love green, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, just like I said, not a person who likes a lot of color, mm -hmm. a lot of patterns. I just, just simple. Yeah. Just simple. 
So, yep. That's he just kind of let me do whatever I want to do. Oh, I love house. that. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> he just the women are always in there. Uh, like, exactly. <laughs> we're in a planning era. Yes. We're like, okay, I want that. Like yes. that. I want that. Yeah. You did amazing. Thank you so it much. It looks so stunning. Thank Can you. we walk into the kitchen? Absolutely. So, this is the dining area, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I see a seating for six. Yes. Occasionally, we have company. Okay. Occasionally, we have company. All right. That's but, yep. wonderful. And this is the infamous kitchen okay yes this is the kitchen i love so much you can turn the light on let me turn the light on right now okay let me turn this light on something right here wow I don't know if this is works but yep this, this is, is the infamous beautiful. kitchen thank you thank you thank you and so yeah just I, I wanted the open concept i one of the things i wanted was a huge island okay and a big window over my sink that was Amazing. all i talked about yeah um and so i'm happy to have that and i love the island mm -hmm. Looks like that. And so, yeah, this is pretty simple. There's so many cabinets. Yes. Yes. So much room, so much space mm -hmm. and everything. Yes. This? This is a pantry. Yes. The pantry. This is the pantry. Okay. It's where all the, the food is. Okay. <laughs> and then on the other side. That's the laundry room. Laundry. Mm hmm Fairly sizable. Mm hmm Yes. That is so beautiful. Yep. Then you have a sink, mm -hmm. more cabinets. Yep. Yep. That's a beautiful like, structure, by the way. And you know, all, all the appliances we got right here in Ghana. Okay. Got right here in Ghana. Um, everything. Mm -hmm. Everything you see in the house we bought from Ghana. Like, okay. we, we brought nothing. I see. We didn't ship anything. It was just my husband and I, those two dogs, and eight suitcases. Okay. And so everything else we purchased here in Ghana. How was the pricing? Was it fair? I, I thought it was comparable okay. to, to what we would have done in the States, so maybe a little less. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I, you know, I, I didn't think it was like over the top or right. anything like that. And right. so um, I think if people are planning mm -hmm. to do their home, just, just budget what you would budget in the States. If you happen to have some left over, then you have right. some left over. Amazing. But just you're safe if you budget for what you budget for okay. in the States when you're doing your appliances. Amazing. Mm -hmm. The lighting too. Yes. It's yes. so lovely. Thank you. Thank you again. Very simple. Oh my God. <laughs> Guys, are you seeing this? I'm so proud of the both of you. Thank you. Like you have one of the very beautiful stories out here when it comes to people who wanted to relocate and then start a life here. Like how the whole process has been so smooth and how you know you've been able to mm -hmm. overcome everything mm -hmm. that came your way yes. to building this stunning property um when we had the conversation previously i know that you wanted to um in the beginning you were looking at getting land mm -hmm. elsewhere and mm -hmm. it didn't really um work out yes can we touch on that a little bit sure absolutely yeah. So uh, when we first bought our first piece of land, we were even here in Ghana, we bought land from the States right. and we purchased land in the central region. Mm -hmm. Right. And so we're so in love with that land. Uh, things didn't work out in that area. Yeah. Um, and so we were able to be refunded for that, which we're grateful for that we were able to get refunded yeah. for that. And so uh, I was so upset about that. And my husband kept assuring me, don't worry about it, honey. We're going to it's going to work out. We're going to yeah. find some more land. And so we did. We purchased two acres. It was two acres, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. We purchased two acres in Sahum. Wow. In Sahum, also here in the Eastern region, mm -hmm. a, little, yeah. a little further from here. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, we did purchase land there. And, and the only thing with that, the process was just taking too long. It was tedious. Yeah, it was too long. We weren't getting our paperwork. Um, no fault to the person who was selling it, mm -hmm. you know, um, but it was just taking too long for us. By that time, we had moved to Ghana. Yeah. And we had been here for some time. And so, we're wa walking around and riding around enjoying Ghana, mm -hmm. but guess what? We were spending resources. Right. We were spending the money for our house. And so my husband, take over, honey. Tell him about how we did this. So we wound up actually coming across Royal Kingdom video mm -hmm. that was um, advertising Ray City. Basically. Where was this? On YouTube, On right? YouTube. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, sitting up late one night watching TV, it's like, huh. So the next morning I said, babe, I said, watch this video I came across last night talking about Great City, and mm -hmm. I said, we should go talk to him. Mm -hmm. um, so we called and made an appointment to uh, yeah. <laughs> come out, and we, I think we met Ansa mm -hmm. out here. Next to Ansa, yes, our site manager. Yeah, yes. we walked around, and immediately we picked these two plots. Mm -hmm. um, and like I say, less than 10 days later, we had our indenture, mm -hmm. we started building, and it's been so amazing since that's happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, that's all we were waiting on. Somebody say we can build, mm -hmm. yes, and that's exactly what we did, and that's why we're here today. Mm -hmm. um, Royal Kingdom's <laughs> policies that they set yes. forth for 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 their customers, mm -hmm. their customer service has been wonderful. I mean, it's so many ways. Yeah, um, 
it's been a, a very easy process mm -hmm. to build. Like I say, we have so refreshing. Issues. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like I say, when we had issues with the road con uh, road conditions, y'all you guys didn't we know anything about it. that. Yeah. yeah. And as soon as y'all found out, as soon as y'all found out, <laughs> it was gone. That up and, yeah. And we it's been go ever since. Mm -hmm. And y'all taking care of the roads. Uh, time to time since then. So we've had no issues. Yeah. Um, since purchasing land here, mm -hmm. it's just been it's been refreshing. Yeah. Like I say, it's been a dream come true for us. Mm -hmm. you know, for what we talked about prior to coming to God. Yeah. To where we at today? Less than a year ago, we were still in Texas. Yeah. You know, to have what we have today is it's amazing. Yeah. It's a blessing. It is. It, and I just look at the beautiful relationship mm -hmm. that we have mm -hmm. between a company and you guys. Yes. It's just so refreshing. It, it it's really, beautiful. It, it really is. It was. It's such a blessing. You know, we're, the, the short of it is, is that we're all being used for a bigger purpose. Yeah. And, and it's just so amazing mm -hmm. how we would be able to collide the way we did. Yeah. And it's just amazing for, like I said, for us to be able to purchase this land mm -hmm. litigation free. Mm -hmm build our house with no problems. Yeah. Uh, it's just, and then have the assistance from the family. You guys are family. You have yes. the assistance from the family <laughs> on just whatever we need. Mm -hmm. It's just been amazing. Yeah. You, you know, you, you guys have said you're gonna do something and it's been done. Yeah. And I tell you, those of us from the diaspora, when we send our money, we wanna see that. Exactly. And so it's very, it's amazing and it's refreshing. Yeah. Yes. We prioritize we results. Yes. And this is the biggest results thus far. It's just beautiful. <laughs> Amazing. I love Thank it. You. Thank okay. you. Okay, so can we shift sure. to the living area? That's it. Let's Who sit. chose the furniture? <laughs> Meal. It's brown, right? <laughs> it's brown. I, I like the color. But, but she made the choice. Right. <laughs> yeah. Where you want to sit? It's so beautiful. Oh. Right there? Okay. I can be right here. I'm gonna start right, right there? Okay, cool. Yes. Okay. It's amazing. That is a huge television. I feel like I can watch my future right here. That was him. <laughs> that was him. Yes. I can see Everything it. Else it's evident. <laughs> <laughs> the technology was him. Yeah, oh my God. Some, some. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's amazing. Okay. So we have been um, broadcasting on our channels, mm -hmm. especially. Uh, we've been speaking on the perimeter fence wall yep. that we're building yes. at Grey City. Yes. And that just ups the security for you as well. Absolutely. Living here. Mm -hmm. How, uh, what do you have to say about that? I think it's amazing, you know, which speaks to what I said earlier. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things is when we were, you know, selling this land and, and, and submitting it to the diaspora, one of the things was we let them know that in your purchase of this land, mm -hmm. you have contributed to the to the perimeter wall. Right. So to see that come up, now we always knew that it was gonna come up, you guys said it was gonna come up, but mm -hmm. to see it coming alive mm -hmm. and coming up is, is so exciting. Like I said, yeah. when diasporas send their money for a particular thing, trust me, they're looking for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so uh, it is very refreshing to see that coming up. And we're really excited about the added security that's gonna go yeah. uh, to this property. Um, to just imagine driving down and, you know, you won't be able to get in here mm -hmm. unless we tell you exactly. sort of that, that you can come. Yeah. And so that's great. And so um, we've been letting clients know about that, that, that it's coming up. And mm -hmm. so you guys uh, displayed it very well on your channel. Exactly. It, yeah. Yes, it looks yeah. amazing. Yeah. It and looks the green amazing. park as well. Oh. Having a little garden in the back, I think you're going to really appreciate yes. the green park. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. can't wait till it's up. Yeah, it's going to be nice to be able to just take a walk up mm -hmm. here and then get up there and settle and be yes. still, read a book. Listen to some music. Yeah. 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 Talk to your neighbors. Yeah. It's nice. It's it's a very nice addition. Yeah. So I'm very glad to see that coming. Yeah. And yeah. finally, on the expansion as well, oh we gosh. this demarcation is sold out. Yeah. And we yes. did an extra uh, ten. And it's almost sold out. Yeah, almost sold. Out. It's going so fast. <laughs> yes. Part yes. thanks to the both of you. You're doing great. <laughs> All as realtors, it's amazing. All so. How do you feel about, you know, Grace City growing and growing and then, you know, having more people being able to purchase here and then, you know, finding a home in here as well? I think it's amazing. I think it's really good to see people journey here to Ghana from wherever they're coming from. Yeah. Bringing their hard earned money, mm -hmm. um, putting it in a place where they can grow their community. They can be with like minded people. Right. They can be. Uh, not have to worry about the scams mm -hmm. that we know are very prevalent um, here in Ghana, right. you know, uh, and not to have to worry about that. And so it feels good to be a part of that. Like mm -hmm. we have made so many connections yeah. with so many people who we've helped directly mm -hmm. and they're just so grateful and just so at peace, 
with their decision to purchase here. So we're very happy to see it coming. I remember like when we broke ground out here, like there was nothing, mm -hmm. <laughs> like there was nothing, but to yeah. see all of these projects coming up yeah. and Every all of the people, now. yeah, all mm -hmm. of the people who come to the community and they stop by and say hi, or they call in, it's amazing. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's amazing and they're happy and they're excited. And yeah. so it feels good Everybody to be a part of that. Excited. Exactly. Mm -hmm. These are all just little initiatives to, you know, also push people to put up their homes, just like yes. you have done. Mm -hmm. And you serve as a testimony Mm -hmm. uh, on that front mm -hmm. like you can build and live here you, uh, seamlessly and have you know the peace of mind that we're always preaching absolutely about, you know? absolutely that is amazing it, it's let very obtainable exactly mm -hmm. let me start with London what would you say to you know your fellow diasporans that are watching and are just you know following your journey and are so grateful on your behalf and are also looking to settle in Ghana I would say you know first off don't believe a lot of the stories that oh, you hear wow. about Africa, Ghana. Yes. Um, we have been bamboos, so to speak. <laughs> um, Ghana specifically is a beautiful, beautiful place. Yes. Yeah. You know, people here are very friendly, kind. Um, if you're thinking about coming to Ghana, do it. Mm -hmm. um, this is probably the most peace I've experienced my entire life. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, we, me and my wife put together this 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 thought of coming here <laughs> mm -hmm. and and everything that we wanted to do wanted to happen here mm -hmm. all praises to the most high yes happened. yes amazing um, mm -hmm. it's um it can be done yes mm -hmm. uh, just plan prepare mm -hmm. research but you can definitely do it it is very attainable mm -hmm. um, and like i said if you have questions you can always reach out to us <laughs> yeah um yeah um yeah Come live your dream. Amazing. Yes. Come live your That's dream. perfectly said. Absolutely. Lisa. I agree with my husband. It's not much that he uh, said that I wouldn't add to. Just mm -hmm. like, plan well, work together, make great contacts. Um, if you're considering land, contact us here at Royal Kingdom. Mm -hmm. um, it's litigation free. Plan well. Yeah. Uh, I must say that's that's uh, we've met so many people who unfortunately didn't plan well, exactly. and so they you know had to return. They'll be back, but mm -hmm. you have to kind of go back and regroup. But yeah. you know, just plan well, make great contacts, mm -hmm. know what you want, know yeah. the lifestyle you want to live when you get here. Like my husband and I, we wanted to live in the bush. Mm -hmm. You know, we wanted to live like off grid per yeah. se. Right. We didn't really want to live in the city, in the city. Um, of a crowd, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But you know we decided we wanted to live pretty much off grid. Mm -hmm. Like we have our own, uh, we have solar, we have our own water supply. Exactly. So we have no water bill, we have no electric bill yes. or anything. And, and how so, is that serving yeah. you? It's been amazing, right? Oh, yeah. It's been great. Yeah. The electricity is constant. Yes, because wow. we have solar. So mm -hmm. it's constant, mm -hmm. it's constant and it, it just works fine. You know, we have hot water, we have the solar hot water system mm -hmm. that works perfectly. And so then we, we're on fertile land so we can grow our food, which I'm desperately trying to do. Which I'm <laughs> desperately trying to do. <laughs> I'm desperately trying to do. Yeah. But and also the fact that this is a farming uh, community yes, it too. Is. So you can get a lot of produce around. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. Like go either direction yes. up mm -hmm. the road and you can find what you want. Yeah. You know, that's one of my favorite parts. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Yes. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I know there are people that have bought mm -hmm. uh, surrounding you. Yes. I know. I see somebody doing yes. the, the yes. property right there. Absolutely. But it's a few burying lines around. Would you advise them to also come in and start putting up their property? We would. We yeah. would just, yes. If you are contemplating on contemplating on when to come, just, just come. Everybody's here. Uh, people are coming daily and weekly and monthly mm -hmm. um, to put up their homes and start their projects or yeah. putting up their walls or doing their foundation. They're starting their entire project. Yeah. And so I think more and more people are seeing mm -hmm. and believing that it can be done. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes that's all the push people need. They just yeah. need to be able to see it. Exactly. And so you guys just, just come on and, uh, just start your projects, yeah. put up your foundation, put up your wall. The community is growing. It's absolutely amazing. Royal Kingdom is doing some amazing things Thank you. for us. Absolutely. That wall is coming up and it's going to be amazing. The yeah. entrance is going to be mm -hmm. awesome. Yes. And, um, there's a couple other things that Royal Kingdom is, is going to be doing for their yes. clients too. Yeah. Right. So you guys, you know, don't we miss will out get on into that. it. Yeah, absolutely. we'll get into that. So they're here for us. And so, yeah, the community is growing. We're just waiting for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting for you. So join in right here. And I promise you, it's going to be amazing. Yes. Give yourself yes. a year. 
a year and a half, mm -hmm. this whole place will be unrecognizable. Yes. And you don't have to wait until we're at that stage mm -hmm. for you to start struggling to get in. Mm -hmm. It will be difficult at that point. Mm -hmm. The time to get in is a now. Absolutely. Contact us. You can reach out to Lisa and London. They are amazing. They offer amazing services. <laughs> Just reach us out at Royal Kingdom Estate. All of our platforms, mm -hmm. our social media, our email, our call outlets. Mm -hmm. We are available 24-7 to help you make your land acquisition process as smooth as possible. Absolutely. Thank you so much for opening your home to us. Um, it's welcome. amazing thank you thank you for coming next time i come i'll bring some plants and a <laughs> bottle of wine we can finally use the terrace yes, you know yes. can't wait to be there in the evening and have the wind just blow me away <laughs> it's beautiful continue to be amazing and then live your dream out here we are all watching and we're all taking inspiration from your story as well thank you thank you thank you for thank being you so here. much so guys we'll be back with more amazing stories like this so stay tuned to our platforms for that